gangs are a problem for school districts across the Rio Grande Valley. And here in Western Hidalgo County, students are presented with opportunities to do things like drug and human smuggling. Well, tonight we're talking to the La Jolla ISD Police Department to find out what they're doing this year to deter these types of crimes. Starting my 14th year as a police chief and every year has been different. La Jolla ISD Police Chief Raul Gonzalez keeps an eye on crime in a school district that spans six cities. We see some drug dealing. Uh, we see some uh, thefts. Uh, we see some kids getting involved with major organizations. These are things many school districts encounter, but in an area where students are vulnerable to major drug and human smuggling operations. Chief Gonzalez says keeping track of gangs is a top priority. Never ending. Texas Writers, Most Wanted. School district officers compile a list of gang members at each middle and high school. They track the level of their involvement and whether they are committing crimes at school. We've invested a lot in providing better security for our schools. We've grown from one police officer to 48 police officers. The end's goal is to keep gang populations low by moving disruptive gang members to other campuses. By doing this, they hope to prevent fights like the one back in May at Palmview High School, where a student was stabbed. The parent of the 15-year-old suspect had no idea her son had joined a gang. If your kids are involved in things that they're not supposed to, in human smuggling, drug smuggling, gangs, you're going to lose. You're going to end up in two places. You're going to end up in jail or you're going to end up dead. Okay, that's guaranteed 100 percent. Police have identified 10 major gangs at the district's three high schools. Chief Gonzalez says keeping track of these gangs and deterring membership growth is the best way to keep campuses safe. And the La Jolla ISD police chief wants to remind parents that even though they've identified students that are gang members, there's still a small percentage of the total student population. For now in Palmview, Nadia Galindo, Action 4 News.